Moving on, we have got a big one in the Big 12. And I say a big one, as big as you can get whenever there's a, a three-loss and a four-loss team facing off against each other. Texas against Iowa State. Iowa State a six-and-a-half-point favorite at home in Ames. Total of 60 here. Iowa State won this one 23-20 to last year and kind of put the nail in the coffin for Tom Herman. Texas 4-1 and one against the spread. Their last five against Iowa State. They, uh, they did not cover last season. Iowa State 1-3. Against the spread as a home favorite this season, Texas is only two and four against the spread as a road dog. This Texas defense is an issue, man. Uh, they're they're number one hundred in defensive success rate. Iowa State number thirty nine in offensive success rate. But when you look at at just all of the different numbers, Texas has got significantly more talent overall than Iowa State. I I I think Iowa State wins the game if you flip a coin. But if I'm flipping a coin. I'm going to take the team with the head start. I, I like I like Texas plus the six and a half here because I think this could end up being a field goal game one way or the other. It could end up being 31-27, somewhere around there. I think I think Texas has enough players and enough explosive ability to keep this thing close and, and maybe even win the game. Well, why is this number almost a touchdown? What have we seen from Iowa State things are a touchdown better than this team? Uh, there. So Iowa State's numbers again. This all has to go back to taking away the turnovers and whatnot that they've had all season. You can't. You just can't. I do know that. you can't do that. But that's, right, that's that's why the fine. line is where. That I don't care. That I don't care. I don't care. If you're not looking at all of the numbers, you're not going to look at the entire game to tell me why. Then it doesn't matter. Like the, 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 the information is garbage, man. So that's fine. Give me Texas. I think Texas win this game. Listen, this is going to be a game that's going to be a fun game to watch because I think these teams play a lot alike. I think I think the, the the two best players on the on the field are going to be the running back, and 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 you got a pretty good matchup against those two guys. Give me Bijan, and 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 I think he's going to be the difference. I think they can win the game. I I like it. I like it. We'll both. I think ride. this number is like five points too much. I, I thought this game should be close to a pickup. Yeah, that's a, a field goal game somewhere around there is what I what I thought. I just uh, don't understand what what I just don't understand anything about what anybody has seen that says. This is a this is a touchdown better than I would say it's a touchdown better than anyone right now. I just don't think I would say it's very good. I I'm a ride with you. Texas plus six and a half for both of us. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at Winning or Chris at Winning Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.